Shiba Inu coin has some interesting news that I want to talk about today that I think will be a big factor in whether or not it runs up relatively soon. Make sure to watch to the very end of this video so you don't miss any of my Shiba Inu coin analysis. And if you guys want to pick up a free stock, check out our link down in the description below for our public link. It's a great social investing network app you guys can be a part of and sign up for it. Not only does it support the channel, but you guys can get a free stock when you sign up and deposit $1. That's all you have to do. They're super trustable. They're amazing. We work with them. We love them. Make sure to check it out in the link below. But other than that, guys, let's get right into this video. Alrighty guys, let's get into this Shiba Inu coin analysis, but really, really quick here, before we do that, let me know down in the comments below how much or how many Shib tokens you guys are holding. I would love, love to know. The Shiba Inu community and army is a very, very strong one, and we have seen that in the last couple of videos that we've made. It's incredible the amount of support that you guys have shown for those videos, so make sure you comment down below how many Shib you have, and like the video, we're trying to get at least one 100 likes on this video. If we can get 100 likes, we'll continue to do these Shiba Inu videos because we know that you guys enjoy them. Make sure to check it out down in the description below. But let's hop into the actual thing that's happening in today's video, right? Where we have Shiba Inu, right? We're up about 6.73, up 6.63% now uh, after watching this. As you can see here, we're pumping up just a little bit here, pushing towards these higher highs uh, just on the one day chart here on Coin Market Cap. Overall, market cap still around the 10 billion, or sorry, $10 million level. Uh, and again, it does need to go up significantly, obviously, if the coin is going to continue to run. Now, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, I should say, of speculation uh, that Shiba Inu could be in for a breakout relatively soon. Keeping this in mind, I want you guys to not freak out. Don't say, well, how is that possible? What's going on? I'm going to get into it. There's a lot of different, there's an article I want to read first that kind of delves into some interesting things about Shiba Inu. There's some technical analysis we're going to do here on TradingView in the later part. Let's turn that off. We don't need that. And we're going to look at the Shiba Inu Army subreddit because there is another post that leads to some very interesting technical analysis that I want to go over. So first things first, let's hop into this article here. And this talks about the recent run-up that we saw, right, where Shiba Inu ran to all-time highs. Uh, and as you can see here, Must Puppy Pick, which is ideally or the Floki Pick that we all saw on Twitter, uh, was probably one of the largest catalysts to this rally. You can argue if it's whales or whatever. I'd love to know your opinion down in the comments below. But again, I think that the Elon Musk picture was the main driver of this rally. Now, if we go down here, I want to read the other factor that this article is talking about. Here's, the, uh, of course, the photo, Floki Funk Puppy. This is obviously the photo of his puppy, uh, which is a Shiba Inu dog, as many of you know. Dogecoin also had a nice day, and a bunch of other altcoins uh, that are similarly, you know, Dogecoin or just any kind of dog coin, right, uh, also had a very nice run as well. Uh, but I want to read down here a little bit about some very interesting stuff about donations, right? So, but the coin also gained attention in May when Vitalik Buterin, I know I'm mispronouncing that, let me know in the comments below, a co-founder of Ethereum donated 50 trillion Shiba Inu coins, or half the total supply, to the India Crypto Co. COVID relief fund as part of an estimated $1.2 billion donation to help combat growing C-19 crisis in India. Shiba Inu's founder, who goes by Ryoshi, had entered Buterin with half of the coin's value because of his godlike status in the crypto world. Read the wolf paper here for explanation. Uh, Buterin's donation amounted to half the total supply of Shiba Inu tokens, but the shock of this donation threatened to tank the price of the coin and effectively make his Shiba Inu giveaway worthless. But the Crypto Relief Fund says it has turned the donation into revalue, offloading the Shiba Inu assets into more widely used coins like Ethereum, or sorry, Ethereum, that's an interesting way to spell that, and stable coins tied to the US dollar. As your Bitterin's uh, donation, Shiba Inu's value dropped by about half before stabilizing at a market cap of roughly $3 billion. So you're probably wondering, why are you talking about that, right? What does that have to do? That's something that happened a long time ago. And this article, unfortunately, doesn't really delve into it too much, so I'm going to kind of fill in the blanks here. So when uh, Vitalik did that, and when this whole kind of donation debacle happened with the India C-19 relief fund and everything, and then all of a sudden we saw that massive drop, let's go back to the chart here. Uh, as you can see here, this was when pretty much that happened. Shiba Inu fell off a cliff when that happened. It did not do very well. Lots of investors were very upset by this, uh, and obviously since then it was trading lower and lower, uh, just consistently for a very long time. Now, it, this this happens, right? When when you have a, a creator of a token basically donate half the supply to somebody and then they donate the other half supply and then it gets all mixed up in the you know different donation chains and, and then it gets put into other coins and then it just pretty much tanks, 
again, that's, that's kind of bad. A lot of people were hoping that the burn was gonna happen, uh, and unfortunately, it doesn't really seem like that affected much. Uh, but again, guys, that was the main reason why this rally could not continue. There was a lack of social interest that was beginning to build, right? People were starting to lose their attention spans for this coin, so keep that in mind, right? That's not the only thing. But again, one of the main reasons why this rally or that rally was just not sustaining itself uh, was because the, of the donation, right? The donation really kind of killed the momentum of that rally. Now you're wondering, well, what does that have to do with now? You know, modern day with current, right? What's happening now? Well, the question, or I should say my statement rather, uh, is this idea of, look at this. Here's the chart that we are looking at right now. I would argue that this is fundamentally different than the first rally that we saw. And I would argue even more that we are seeing momentum right now with this coin uh, that we did not see before. And that, and to me, that what that signals is that this rally is not necessarily over yet. And it signals to me that there is something fundamentally different about this rally. Something has changed about Shiba Inu and the way that it charts and the way that it is valued just in the overall cryptocurrency space in general this feels different, it really does. And even if you look at this technical analysis where it, I wanna look at this too, because I think this actually really provides a lot of interesting information here. This is on the Shiba Army subreddit. I'm gonna give credit obviously to whoever posted this. Uh, as you can see here, there's the name right there, Leon Tor, thank you for this. Uh, but as you can see, this is a little bit of technical analysis he's drawn up on the recent chart, right? We have the initial rally run up all the way to these highs, and then we have a little bit of a pullback and now a bit of a consolidation here. Look at this guys, we're consolidating into this very small little flag pattern pattern here and again as you can see, we're still consolidating there. As you can see, we haven't really broken out of any crazy trends yet. But again, guys, I wanna point that out. And here, I wanna read this guy's explanation because I think he does a very good job uh, of kind of explaining this. So as you can see, for anyone not understanding, this is a breakout pattern. The theory is that price is actually going down, but at the same time, the selling volume is reducing. As indicated, the red bar is getting smaller, which theoretically means that buyers are about to take over and push price up and past the upper slanted line. Check out the period between the eight and nine on the x-axis. Selling pressure reduced and buyers took over, indicated by the sudden large green bar, also known as a bullish engulfing candle. This is a perfect example. Of course, this doesn't always happen like this. Price is still gonna do whatever it's gonna do. Right, so keep that in mind, obviously, that you know, technical analysis is great. Great way to try to predict certain price trends and just different breakouts. But again, uh, it's not always guaranteed. We love to always see when technical analysis totally pattern fails and jukes us out on a certain move. It always tends to happen or you know, it, it does happen quite frequently. But again, it is still a relatively valid measure of trying to predict some of these breakouts. And I would argue that he's right, right? The selling, the selling volume is dropping drastically, not even just from a technical point, but from a social standing. If you look at other people around this coin, because just overall the conversation about Shiba Inu is starting to kind of fizzle a little bit. The real actual holders, right? The real people who are holding this coin, who are willing to hold this for the long run, uh, are not are not selling, right? They're holding this long term. And what happens when nobody sells? Well, typically the price tends to go up, right? It's it's very simple supply and demand. And again, if that happens, if this technical pattern turns out to be true, guys, we could see a massive breakout uh, relatively soon. Could big emphasis on could. We have to kind of wait and see, guys. Again, Shiba Inu is a big waiting game. I don't have my life savings in this coin. I have probably about $2,000 in this coin, which is obviously a decent amount, but again, that's not anything more that I'm willing to lose. If that money is gone tomorrow, it is what it is. But if this coin 10Xs, I'm up significantly, right? So either way, it works out, guys. Make sure to manage your position, manage your risk, and be aware of what's going on with this coin, guys. Make sure to subscribe, because obviously we talk about this coin and a bunch of other stocks, cryptocurrency, whatever, every single day. So make sure to do that. But today, guys, that's pretty much it for Shiba Inu. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video like this. If you guys wanna pick up a free stock with public, check out our link down in the description below. It's a great social investing network that you guys can be a part of and sign up for and get a free stock when you guys sign up and deposit $1. Public lets you see anybody's trades, everybody's trades whenever they make a trade on the platform. It's friends, family members, and even famous people. You guys can see what they're up to and what they're buying, what they're selling, and of course, what they're talking about, about the current market. But other than that, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. I'm Kyle with Finance, bro. Take it easy.